lane number one, the University of California, Irvine in lane two. In lane three, it is the University of California, Santa Barbara. In lane four is going to be UCLA. In lane number five, check that uh, UCLA is in lane five. And in lane six, USC, San Diego State is in lane number four. So this is a race for the uh, second half of the uh, novice event, the men's collegiate novice event. So these are the people that finished in the second half of their heats yesterday. And we're now going to go down to Jim Jorgensen at the start line. Yes, good morning. Event number 71 is at the stake boat. This is the men's collegiate novice B final. Lane one, Orange Coast College. Lane two, UC Irvine. Lane three, UC Santa Barbara. Lane four, San Diego State. Lane five, UCLA, and in lane six, USC. Very Orange calm Coast conditions College. down here. UC Irvine. The starter UC is pulling Santa the crews. Barbara. We should have a start San here Diego in the next State. 30 seconds. UCLA, USC. Here we go. Attention, go! We have a start for event number 71, men's collegiate novice B final. All six crews away cleanly. Right now, your early leader in lane two, UC Irvine. We're going to stop rowing here. There must be some breakage or, yes, from the SC crew over here in lane six. The coxswain has raised her hand, and it appears that the seven man has some breakage. Right now, he's in untying his shoes, so maybe it's a footboard. We'll have to uh, wait and see. As you may recall, yesterday we had Arizona State not start from lane six. Actually, they were in lane seven, so I don't know if there's some sort of jinx out here. Officials coming over now to check the breakage. And depending upon the severity, we'll either back right back down and restart this race or this race may be delayed until they can fix the equipment. Yes, once again, it's the seven man that seems to be having the problem with breakage. The referees are coming in to make sure there is actual breakage. If there is none, they could be disqualified. Hopefully they're not going to turn the boat over. Anytime you ship your oars like that, it's uh, not very stable. Jim, there, you, m you may recall that there was a similar problem during the Olympic finals of the uh, men's lightweight double skull in London, and it was a similar foot stretcher problem and a certain amount of controversy at the time as to whether or not it was a genuine breakage or not, or simply a... Yeah, the judges are now coming in to assess the, the damage, the breakage. And as a result of that, FISA, the international body, have now changed their rules so that there is no longer any 100 meter breakage uh, section of the race course. If, you, if your equipment fails, too bad. I agree. Okay, for every other boat except for lane six, let's spin it around, bring it back in. We are checking the breakage in lane six. If it can be repaired immediately, we'll start your race. If not, I will let you know. Okay, so heads up, just turn around, back it in. The officials now are conferring to see what the status is. I'm ready.
next area. Do a lap. I'm going to put the next race in. And just keep doing laps and we'll let you know. So it's at least... American Specialty Health, a leading health services company, is the proud sponsor of the 2013 San Diego Crew Classic. And don't forget to stop by the Chevrolet display right here on campus and go for a test drive in a brand new 2013 Bolt Cruiser Traverse and receive a $10 voucher good at a Crew Classic concession or beer garden. And we'd like to invite you to visit Camperland on the Bay, a proud and longtime sponsor of the San Diego Crew, Crew, Crew Classic. And you'll agree that this isn't your average camping trip. So what appears to be happening, if I heard the starter correctly, is that they are delaying the start of the men's collegiate novice B final, and they're going to take the next race, which is event number 72, the women's junior JV Petite, uh, give uh, an opportunity for uh, that crew with the breakage, uh, USC, to get it fixed, and uh, then they will s restart the race. Team final. You may enter the course. Pocock, lane one. Newport Aquatic, lane two. Everett, lane three. River City, lane four. Berkeley High, lane five. St. Ignatius, lane six. Eight minutes, ladies, eight minutes. Let's go. We had some equipment breakage. It's 70 miles an hour! whoop a dee -dee -dee. I'd give him a round of applause, but I can't. Did it did it did you're so slow, did it did it I'm not impressed. Did it did it did it Get as close as you dare to the world's fastest carnivore, Cheetah Run, always included at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. And before your visit, don't forget to download the free Safari Park app. Have you ever thought, hey, it's only one piece of trash? Well, what if stormwater pollution affected you directly? The truth is, stormwater pollution affects us all. Don't let karma get you. Think blue. I swallow the wind through my nose, feel the sand beneath my toes. As I walk along the shore, it's like a yeah, yeah, deep inside me somewhere. It's like a la di da da di di. Happiness is calling me. Happiness is calling at San Diego.org. In race number 71, we had some breakage, and right now, all of the items that are going on down at the start line are to get things rearranged and get set up for event number 72. Jim Jorgensen is down to our start line. And he'll give us the rundown now for the Women's Junior Petite JV Final. Yes, event number 72, Women's Junior JV Petite Final. Lane assignments, lane one, Pocock Rowing Center. Lane two, okay, ladies, Newport Aquatic Center. Three, Everett Rowing Association. 
4. River City Rowing Club, 5. Berkeley High Crew, and Elaine 6, St. Ignatius. Once again, the wind is coming pretty much dead astern.